Hello everyone, this is Betsy from Ideas Times 2 and I have a project to share with you. This is a design team project for Nevermore Creations 17 and Lindsay has all kinds of journals, journal supplies and digi kits in her shop so please check her out. I'll leave her link down below. The kit I used for this project is called Stitch in Time. It's an ephemera pack and it has 45 images and I used lots of images from from the kit um, you can see I've got <laughs> these sheets are all cut up because so many cute images I used in this project so please check her out I'll leave her link below um, I made a needle book a needle case um, this is a project inspired by Mrs. Cog and um, I'll leave her link down below as well so you can check her out um, this needle book will be for sale in our Etsy shop and I'll leave that link below as well. So let's just get started. So I pieced together um, a cover for this book out of fabric and it measures about five by four and a half or so. A little chunky little spine and you can see it's poofy. The closure is a twine and a button. And I do have some dangles hanging down here, and I'll point those out as we come to the center of the book. This image is from Lindsay's kit. It's layered up with fabric, and this just unwraps. I usually had been doing it once around, but um, opens like that. And then inside we've got image from the kit. This is stamped on muslin. Um, these images are from the kit as well, and I sewed some buttons onto this card. These are so cute. They're pages from somebody's little sewing book, like school book. Um, and there's a parent, parent report. So cute. This uh, measuring tape ribbon I found at Hobby Lobby. There are pins. Hopefully you can see that. There are pins um, going all the way down the side that I stuck into this little um, needle pad here. These are also pins. Um, they just have a little birdie at the top. I thought those were so very, very cute. And those just tuck in the top too. So this is just basically surrounded by pins. There's a little bit of lace sewn on there. There's Here's the center. For the dangle, I made some little spool charms. Um, there are buttons and some little metal charms. I think I found those at Joann's. And they're just safety pinned on here to dangle down the top bottom. On this page, um, I put lace going all the way across to be this. It's a pocket over here. It's sewn down over here. But you could... Okay, this is a pen, actually, that is not, not closing. Here, let me try something else. You could put, um, <laughs> it's not going to work either. Hang on, hang on, hang on. My idea for that was to put um, a seam ripper would actually fit. A seam ripper does fit there or on the other side because it is open right there. So that was my, <laughs> that's my idea for that. I just didn't have it to show you. So anyway... It is open right there, but this is a full pocket here. And for instance, if you had more thread cards, you could just tuck them, tuck them in there, or whatever you would like. I sewed some buttons onto this uh, vertical belly band. Um, they can definitely be clipped off and used, or you could leave them as decorative. Here's a little decorative uh, element that I I stitched on, and that is a little sari silk, little applique here. But the rest is. Um, not the rest, but a lot of it is practical too. So here's here are safety pins. There are some needles. These are pins. They just happen to have a little charm on them. Um, there's a bulb pin and a little charm there. It's a little sewing machine. All right. And then lots of needles in here. This is stitched on a little, little bow. And this is from a fabric piece that is... Um, glued on. Here is the scissors pocket. There's a little bulb pin with um, beads and a little scissors charm here and the scissors just tuck right into the pocket. And I put a little tassel on there. 
So it, this needle book also has two pockets on, in the front cover. So in the back, back pocket here, I put just some eph ephemera cards from the kit. Um, I made this ephemera card into a little notepad here. Um, these are index cards that just cut into a little booklet. This one has a little tab. So those I just tuck into the back here, back pocket. And the front pocket has a mini junk journal. So let me set that aside and I will show you the junk journal real quick, quickly. Uh, here's an ephemera piece from the uh, from the kit. I had to cut it down a little bit, but it's this beautiful gal sewing. Um, I put buttons and little fabric trims, and it has a charm, which you'll see it's it's on a paper clip on the inside. So it just has this ribbon closure with eyelets. And I used, um, this is avocado dyed paper I got from my sister. I used some of that in here. I thought it went so pretty. This is just a little fabric piece that I glued on. Here, here's a side side tuck. All these are images from Lindsay's kit. Here's the little paper clip with the dangle that was showing on the outside. So this has just a little fabric tab. Tea dyed paper, a little stamping, some muslin tabs, which I, I doubled up so they're they have like a little layering there. A little image from the kit stamping. Here's some selvage edge, which I thought was so cute, and then it, it gives it a nice little fringy edge there. There's a tuck spot with some more images from the kit. More avocado dyed paper as well. So beautiful. Tab. This is a stamp on muslin. Image from the kit. She had this really cute piece that had I think I, I think I have it right here. I had to cut it down unfortunately, but it was just it's just so cute. It has all these little vintage scissors on there. From the kit with a little bit of lace, index card page, stamping, more stamping down here. This is so old. I have this stamp set from Stampin' Up like back when they first started basically. And it's a little sewing one, so all these tiny little images came in handy. This is cut from one of her images, and this is cut down as well to fit inside, but just that swirly uh, part I thought made a fun little pocket. So there's that, that. This is another pair of scissors from that page, or from that ephemera card, and this is just glued right onto the back cover. And I had this paper that's <laughs> sewing, sewing-related piece of paper from... A paper pad that I had. I thought it, it it went so well and it was red and I thought it tied together so nicely. So that is my um, my little junk journal for this needle needle book. So slip that in there. I usually I usually slip it in so the ribbon goes inside and you can leave this you can leave this out so the dangle actually hangs down off the side too, off the corner. All right, so that is it. That's my project for Nevermore Creations 17. Please check it out. All that information is down below and where you can purchase this uh, needle book as well. So thank you, everybody. Thank you for your time. Bye.